The Pro Series projector headlights here are a high quality, great looking option for all 2018 and newer F-150 owners who might be looking to make a drastic change to the front end while also improving lighting at the same time. Now these particular headlights will feature the aggressive jet black color theme along with a modern projector and an abundance of secondary lighting and features which we will cover here in a bit. Price point for the Pro Series will hover in that mid to high $800 range and the install, according to the site, is going to get a solid two out of three wrenches on the old difficulty meter and take at least an hour to complete from start to finish, as we'll demonstrate later in the video. So for those who are unaware, the Pro Series is entry-level headlight, if you can believe it, and will land behind the slightly more expensive Lux Series and then finally the Top Dog Nova Series at the top of the food chain. But with that said, the Pro Series, I think, are still going to be a very, very nice set of lights for about half the cost of those Nova series and are gonna specifically apply to all halogen equipped F-150s out there. But first up, let's talk about the primary lighting here with the Pro Series. And these guys are basically gonna convert your dated halogen or reflector style halogen, I should say, to a more modern projector. And that in turn will help improve your nighttime visibility thanks to the brighter, more focused beam of light and the increased throw. Now the big difference between the Pro Series that we're talking about here today and the mid-range headlight, the Lux Series, is that the Pro Series is going to incorporate an H7 halogen bulb for the high beams located on the bottom, along with the low beams up top here, whereas the mid-grade Lux Series will feature a LED-based headlight system for both highs and low beams. So for those of you wondering at home what the main difference is between the two, well, there you go. But outside of that, the rest of the package between the Pro Series and the Lux Series are virtually identical. But now let's shift gears and talk about some of your secondary lighting going on here. And the biggest, I think, is going to be the diffused LED trim ring running around the top, sides, and bottom of the housing. Now that trim ring will shine bright white whenever your headlights or your parking lights have been switched on. However, there's more to the story here. Now those DRLs will also function as a turn signal or at least portion of it, thanks to the amber switchback lighting, which changes that white to amber whenever your signals or your hazards have been activated. Finally guys, those DRLs have been separated right in the middle here with what Alpha calls their claw amber lenses. And those guys actually flash as well with your turn signals or hazards. And if that wasn't enough, the Pro Series also feature Alpha's awesome startup sequence. Now this is basically a combination of your parking lights and your signals or hazards flashing in a random sequence whenever you lock or unlock your F-150. It looks really cool, but lighting aside, the Pro Series will feature a combination of the black ABS housing topped off with a very durable and impact resistant polycarbonate lens. Now, a lot going on with that lens, guys. It has been UV coated to help prevent any fading or yellowing over the years. And it's also been given an anti-fog coating, which Alpha says helps keep these lights working great in tough conditions with the weather and also helps prevent any moisture or condensation to form from over the years. But going back to the color options we talked about earlier, guys, there are three currently to choose from here on the site for the 18 through 20 F-150s. This is the jet black option, which is basically gonna deliver a very similar look to the matte black. The only difference being, you guessed it, the housings are gonna feature more of a gloss finish, whereas the matte black will obviously feature more of a matte black finish. Uh, third, last but not least, there's also a chrome option as well. So for F-150 owners out there who might be looking to match a chrome package truck or maybe just dig the look, the OE look of a chrome headlight, those are certainly worth checking out as well. And of course, you can find them here at AT. Now, before we touch on the installation, guys, I just want to remind everybody that these things have been given both a DOT and SAE stamp of approval, which makes them legal for use in all 50 states. On top of that, they are also backed by a two-year limited warranty, which is nice to mention because typically below that $1,000 price point, you don't see a lot of built-in warranties with the aftermarket headlights. So again, nice to point out here with the Pro Series. Uh, finally, everything is included for the installation. You have brand new H7 bulbs, again, for your highs and lows already installed for you. And there is an additional wiring harness needed to get everything up and running. So just with that in mind, know that yes, 
A lot of this is plug and play, but there's some small wiring needed to make everything functional and really take full advantage of the features here at the Pro Series. But to give you a better idea of how this is all gonna go down with your F-150 at home, check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown right now. Tools used for this install are a ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, seven millimeter socket, and a clip removal tool. For this install, we're gonna be starting by popping open the hood and removing the upper radiator cover so that we can gain access to remove the grill and the lower fascia. So let's get started. So I'm gonna just use my clip removal tool to pop all the clips out that hold the radiator cover on, and then I can pull the cover off and get to the grill. Next, I'm going to use my 7mm uh, socket on a ratchet, and I'm going to remove the two screws here at the corner of the lower front fascia. Now I'm just going to repeat this process on the other side and remove the lower lip. Once you have those four screws removed and the two corners popped out, you can remove the lower fascia. Next, I can unplug the two connectors at the top of the grill underneath the rad cover that I just removed. Get those out of my way. And then I can use my 10 millimeter socket to remove the four 10 millimeter bolts that are up at the top of the grill. Next, I'm gonna use an eight millimeter socket and I'm gonna remove the eight millimeter screw down here at the bottom corner of the grill and I'll do the same on the other side and then this grill should just come right off. So there are five screws that need to be removed to get the headlight out of the vehicle. There are two here at the top, two at the bottom, and one on the side. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and an eight millimeter socket to remove the five screws. So this is my last 10 millimeter screw and the one next to it is the eight millimeter that I'm gonna need the eight mil socket for. So now we're just gonna push down on this lower bracket and get it disengaged. And then we should be able to pull out our headlight and unplug it from the back. Now before I can install my new headlight, there is a small wire harness that I need to attach to the battery and route to each corner where the headlights are mounted. So I have a red and a black. I'm gonna attach my red to the positive terminal, the black to the negative terminal, and then I can make my connections at the headlights when I install them. I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter socket and just loosen up the tighten down nuts on the top of the battery terminals, and then I can put my connections right there. Start tucking my wires along the top here. As 
So now it's time to make the connections on the back of the headlight and install it into place. So I'm just gonna match up all of my connectors, plug those in, and then I can install this into place on the car. Now I can reinstall the four 10 millimeter screws and one eight millimeter screw that hold the headlight into place. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other side of the vehicle. And now just like we did on the other side of the vehicle, I'm just going to match up my connectors and plug everything into the headlight and install it into place. And like I said before, I'm just gonna install my four 10 millimeter bolts and my one eight millimeter bolt to hold everything in place. Now that both of our new headlights are installed, we can go ahead and reinstall our grill and our lower fascia and make all of our connections with factory hardware. Don't forget to plug in these two connectors here at the top of the grill. If you forget, they will cause a check engine light because these are for your active shutters and for your ambient air temperature. So you wanna make sure you make that connection and everything will be good to go. And now I'm just reinstalling the four factory hardware 10 millimeter screws. Next, I can use my 8mm socket to reinstall the 8mm screw at the bottom of the grill on each side. Next, you can reinstall the lower fascia and the two 7mm screws on either side. Now just put the screws back into place with a 7mm socket. And finally, I'm gonna reinstall my upper rad cover and all of the push clips that hold it down to the vehicle.
And that's going to wrap up this review and install of the Pro Series projector headlight in jet black fitting your 2018 to 2020 F-150. Thanks for watching and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.